Hey guys, I just want to show you how to use your status bar here along the bottom um, and how to turn it on and off if you don't want to use it. Now some of you might not like it on because during video playback it still appears. However, uh, in Showbox, if you were to uncheck the Use Internal Player box, which when you're going to start a video is located right here. If you uncheck that and use the video player, this bar will auto hide. Um, so I recommend doing that uh, if you use your status bar on. So uncheck this and just use video player. Now the reason I like to have this on, uh, there's a few reasons. Number one, it's got a back button. Number two, it's got a home button. And my favorite is the recent apps button. So this button here will basically show you any of the apps that you've recently opened. So if I want to just go back to Showbox, I can do that. If from Showbox I want to go to File Manager, I can do that and so on and so on. Now on the Pro model we also have this button right here which is a memory refresh so it'll basically set the box uh, it'll refresh the cache and close any recently used apps. So to turn this on and off down here you would simply go to settings, display and then hide status bar. So currently mine's turned to off because you can see it down here. Now if I click that to on it disappears. So again, I recommend keeping it on. I'm going to show you again how some of these buttons work. So from the home screen, um, if I wanted to go back into here and file manager, I can do that. Now if I wanted to close file manager, let's say I was in Kodi and it froze on me for some reason during a playback of a video and I couldn't exit it. What I could do, instead of having to go all the way through the Android settings to force close it, I could simply, while in Kodi, hit this button and then either press and hold on Kodi until this appeared or I could press and hold on it and swipe it up and that will force close it and it would no longer be running and the frozen app would be closed and then if I wanted to I could just go back and open it again. Now again on the Pro models we have this button. This button if I press it you'll see a little rocket ship take off and it'll say performance improved by 6%. So basically it closed any of the recent apps that I had running in the background. So they're not using any of the memory anymore. So I'm running at full system memory. Again, that is the status bar along the bottom here. And if you ever want to turn it on or off, if you don't have it on, you can go to display and hide status bar and turn that to off. Okay, any questions, let us know.